This is a quick video to uh, explain how to upload and do part D to save yourself as much hassle as possible. Step number one, gather all of your files into a single folder on your computer. For example, in this, or in this uh, folder, I've put in my, the, this folder called Web Design Project, I've got all of the files that I needed for this project. Okay, now I have obviously a whole bunch of things in here that you don't, um, so, but you need to have something for, for example, a part C. Here's a, here's a part C that I did in high charts. Uh, you can see that, that's this little file right here. Um, I've got a, uh, a pro by programming project, that's right here. So we can see that, that's in this file. Uh, if your programming project's already on the server, great. Uh, I've got it, my part B is all in a separate file called RB. Okay, now it's okay if you use the ones that say start bootstrap, blah, 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 that are super, super long file names. But just to save yourself some hassle, I do recommend, uh, you know, renaming this to something that's nice and quick and short and easy to type. Okay, so I've got in my RB folder, I've got this index file, which has my page in it, like just like this. Everything works just fine. The images look fine. The CSS looks fine. Everything's good uh, on this one. I've got also my other uh, page that I made. It wasn't required to make two pages, but uh, here's my other page that I made quickly. Um, and then in here, I've also got my CSS, my fonts, my images. There's all my images of root beer. Um, my, there's everything that I need in this folder, okay? So now here's what we do. We go to the server, we go to SACCT, and there is a part d.html file. So I've downloaded and I've also put it in this same folder. So notice that I've got all of my HTML files in this folder, except for my part b I put in here. Okay, you can change this if you'd like, um, but this is the easy way to get it done. All right, so I'm gonna edit my part d. Here it is in Notepad++. Here's the index file, here's your the section where we can actually, let me uh, put this up in two screens so we can see what it looks like in Chrome. All right, here's what, the, here's what that looks up in Chrome. Notice that this says file, okay? We're not gonna want any links that start with file. That will cause us problems because we're only looking for file. We want the files to be on the server, not on our own computer. And if it says file, that means it's on our computer. Okay, so these links don't actually do anything right now because we haven't put anything in the hrefs. So here's what I recommend doing. Put in your name. I can type. Put in your section. Put in your username. And then down here, put your links to your various different pieces. So for programming project, what is my link to the programming project? Well, if you look at this part d.html file, and we go into this folder, here's where part d is. We need to decide how do we get to the programming project? Well, my programming project, this is what the name of the programming project is for me. Yours is probably different. Okay, so here's the name. I'm gonna copy that name. Now notice that my part D and my programming project are in the exact same folder, which means I don't need to put anything else in here except for the name of the file. Copy and paste. All right, now part A I'm gonna skip because I didn't make a part A for this project, but you would take from your server whatever page you want you know, you can put that in for your part A, just copy and paste from the server. Now it has to be the public space, okay? So check it out in a browser that you're not logged into your Wix or Weebly or WordPress or whatever it happens to be. Make sure that it's a page that anyone can access, including me. Now for parts B, uh, let me uh, show you how you do that. So over here, my part B is in this folder. Yours could be in the same folder here. It's, it's fine if that's the case, but wherever your part B index file is, um, or your part B file, it doesn't matter if it's called index, we need to put the link in here. Now I can't just put index.html in here and have that work because it's in a different folder. Uh, so if we start at my part D.html file, this is this file, the one I'm editing, and we go to the file I wanna use for my uh, part B, I have to go into the RB folder. So what we have to do is our, in our link, we have to type RB, and then a slash, and that means look in the RB folder and open up the index.html file. Okay, so it's folder slash file name. Or if you have multiple folders, sometimes you would. If we wanted to point at 
uh, this file right here, this font awesome file, we would have to go into rb slash fonts slash and then the name of the file. Okay, so a folder or, or one or more folders slashes in between the folders and then the name of the file including the extension. Notice I didn't put index, I didn't put uh, I put index.html because that's the exact name of the file right here, index.html. Now in, in Windows you can turn off file extensions so you can't see them, uh, which is unfortunate. But you have to get the exact same one. Uh, look on uh, just Google for how to turn on file extensions in Windows if you're not sure what the file extension is. Now for Part C, I've got a number of different Part Cs. All right, so I've got one for high charts, I've got one for Google charts, I've got one for chart.js because I made one for all of the different ones. Uh, you may or may not have that. Some people decided to do multiple pages for part A. If you have multiple ones, here's what you do. You copy this line and say I've got multiple part C's and you make a new line. So now you've got part C. So there's part C1, part C2, all right. And so then if we look at this in um, here, if we refresh this, now we've got multiple lines here with multiple links. Okay, now how do we add that? Well, let's do high charts for the first one. Okay, here's my high charts file. My high chart charts file is high charts, capital H, dot HTML. It's in the same exact folder as part D. So all I have to do is put the name of the file. Great. All right, let's do another one. Let's do MD Bootstrap. Okay, MD Bootstrap is another of my Part C examples. Here's the name of the file. I'm going to copy that, put it in here, and paste that. Now, all of these are what are called relative references. Okay, so we start at this file, the Part D file we're working on, which happens to be located right here, and we go from there to the various different files, so into folders or not, uh, and look at the images. We can also do what's called an absolute reference. But we have to do an absolute reference to the file on the server. I'll show you how to do that in just, just a minute. So let's save this, and then check and see if it's working. So we go, and this file is on our computer. If we've done absolute references, then we can click on these and see if they're all working. All right. If they are all working, and our references are relative, Everything's looking good here. I, I, like I said, I don't have a part A for this one. Everything's looking great. So if that's the case, all we have to do at this point is upload everything to the server. Okay. So how would we do that? We go to FileZilla's site. You download the client. Don't get the server. Download the FileZilla client. Open it up. Follow the instructions uh, online on how to log into FileZilla. You do FTPS colon forward slash forward slash webpages.csus.edu, and then your typical uh, Sac State username and password. You hit connect. Oh, I'm already connected. So you hit connect, and then he, on the left-hand side, here are the folders on your computer and the various files in the, that folder. So I'm right now working off of, let's see, on my desktop, I've got this web design project folder, and that's where everything's at. What I'm going to do over here is over here I'm in my root directory on the server. Now I've already got a bunch of stuff over here um, and I've already actually uploaded these things but all I'm going to do is I'm going to say here everything. Everything in here. Let's highlight it. I hit control shift. You can hit a number of different things but click shift. Uh, get everything and upload that to the server. A lot of students are choosing not to upload everything. Only their HTML files. I'll show you in just a second what happens if you only upload your HTML file. So you're going to go and hit upload and it's going to run through and it's going to take, depending on how many images you have and how many files you are, it's going to take you know a few seconds to a minute or two uh, to upload all, your, upload all your files and then they're here on the server. Okay, So I've got the one I just edited which isn't up to date on the server is the part D. So I'm going to upload just that one to the server because that's the only one I made changes of. Okay, so everything's transferred successfully, great. Now let's check it out on the server. Notice that the file I was checking out on my computer to make sure it was working starts with this link, file colon slash 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 c etc cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, so this is a file on my computer and it will not work. If yours says SAC files to start out, okay, that's a file on the computer computers on campus. Those also won't work. Those are not publicly available links that anyone can see. Only you can see those. So you need to start yours with webpages.csus.edu slash your username slash. Okay. 
that link right there, that corresponds to your root folder, okay? So that is the exact same thing as this slash over here on FileZilla, the exact same thing. So then after that, we need to put in any folders or any, and then every, any file names to, uh, you know, to get to our files. So I want to go to my partd.html file. Okay. Now that one happens to be already in my root folder. Okay. Great. So all I have to do is after my webpages.csus.edu slash my username with another slash, all I have to do is put the exact name of the file, partd.html. Now notice spaces uh, do matter. It's actually kind of against convention to use spaces in web page names. Um, so if you have them, it's fine. You can put them in there. They will still work, uh, but it's not recommended. It's recommended you get rid of any spaces. Uh, now, also, if you don't have files that have extensions, that can cause problem with your browser because it doesn't know what to do with the file. So here's my part d.html. I'm going to hit enter, and there it is. There's the nicely newly refreshed part d on, uh, .html on the server. And guess what? Because we did relative referencing, and because we uploaded everything all at once, kept the same file structure, the same folder structure, everything will work. All I do is click. I don't have a part a. There's my part b. There's my part one of my part c's. There's my part d. Everything works just fine, and that's what you're going to turn in, is the link to part d up on the server. Now, yours could be called index.html. Yours could be called, I hate this project, part d.html. I, I don't care what it's called, uh, but that's what you need to submit. Okay, now let me go temporarily. I'll go back to FileZilla, and I'm going to go to my root beer folder right here, and I'm going to remove all everything except for my HTML file. I'm just going to delete it for right now. So now, if that's there, and I go to my part B, notice that everything still looks fine for temporarily, and the reason for that is because my computer, my browser, caches that file. What that means is whenever you go to a web page, your browser will store a copy of that web page so that if you go back to it really soon, it doesn't have to go all the way out to the server, all the way across the internet, which is slow, to get that file. It just gives you the page from your local uh, cache, it's called. But we don't want that. And so we have to refresh the page, but we have to tell this, the browser, hey, go, don't get it from your cache, go get it from the server. So if you hold down Shift on Chrome um, and then hit Refresh, most of the browsers are like that, it will refresh and get it from the server. All right, now notice this page. The CSS doesn't work, the colors aren't working, the navigation looks weird, the links to the images are all broken, um, things are just not working properly. Why? Well, it's because there's no CSS file, there's no images, there's no nothing for this HTML file to, to use. So I've got to go back to my project folder up here. Here's my root beer folder. Here, I'm in my root beer folder here, and I've got to put everything. I guess I don't need to upload my index file. I could override it, but I have to upload that back up to the server. That'll take a second to upload. There's quite a few images in there. Okay, that's done. And now, if I go refresh, I might need to hold down shift again and refresh this. Now all everything is back like it should be. Okay, so those are the most common problems that people are uh, working on. Now, what happens if I've got, let's say here, I've got this, this uh, folder called research on the server. What happens if I just type in research, okay, that folder name, and hit enter? I'm going to get a 403 error. Why do I get that? Well, the reason is that there is no file in there, no HTML file, um, and our university has decided that the web server is not configured to show you all of the files that are in that folder. The only thing that will work is if there's already a file that's called index.html or index.htm, then it will, by default, if you don't put a file name, it will put that file, return that file. So this is the exact same thing as, as the, whoops. <laughs> oh, look, there's a file not found error. Why did I get that? Because there's no file named this on the server. But there is a file called this, all right? 
So that will take care of almost all of the problems that people are facing. Now, let me show you one thing that I can change. So let's say I wanted to make, instead of a relative reference, let me, I wanted to make an absolute reference. This is the absolute reference to this page. Starts out webpages.csus.edu by username, the folder name, this. I could copy this, and instead of my part B here, I could put this absolute reference in there. And it would work just the same unless I moved that on the server and then it wouldn't work.